Hi, I'm Kent DeConic, Superintendent of Greenwood Schools, and this is the first in a series of installments that we want to put together uh, highlighting uh, great things happening in Greenwood Schools. And the first uh, session here will be on our uh, Connections program. And so I have with me today Mr. Uh, Todd Garrison, the high school principal. And I guess I'll just start off by asking Mr. Garrison, uh, what is the Connections program? Well, the Connections program involves so many different moving parts and components, but overall, the Connections program is a personalized, innovative, and a non-traditional non -traditional learning environment. And the components that make up the Connections program include, one, an online component. Students can actually take online courses at the high school for high school credit. And our most popular courses at this time are anatomy and physiology, world religion, forensic science, and medical terminology. So that piece alone, we're very, very excited to start offering online, uh, online curriculum. The second component is our credit recovery program, and that's something that uh, we're sustaining that program. It's involved in the Connections program. That program consists of students who are taking courses that they have failed and recover that credit. The Connections program that most people refer to is our AM and PM programs. Now the AM program involves juniors and seniors, and juniors and seniors take this program to, they basically take their core classes. But the curriculum is a, a blended, it's a blended curriculum in that, in the way we uh, deliver the instruction. So kids will take, or students will take online courses, they get direct, direct instruction from a teacher, they sit in collaborative groups, and uh, also do some classroom instruction as well. So the, the curriculum is delivered in so many different ways that better meets the needs of that student. And then in the PM Connections program, we have students that are primarily 10th grade students and those students are enhancing their English and their math skills. Thanks, Mr. Garrison. Why did you and high school administration and teachers decide that this was a program that you wanted to start? Well, I think basically we took an honest approach and looked at ourselves at the high school and said, are we meeting the needs of all students? And honestly, we looked at it and said, we're meeting the needs of most, but not all. And mainly because students sometimes need a different approach to learning. So we developed and designed this room to, in an attempt to meet the needs of those non-traditional students. Very good. Well, maybe at this time, uh, if you would, uh, maybe give us a, a, a tour around the facility. Oh, I'd love to. For entering the Connections program, our AM uh, Connections students have their lockers here in the hallway, so they're all assigned a locker for privacy. And then as we enter into the Connections classroom, and this is Mrs. Neely. Hi, Mrs. Neely. Mrs. Neely oversees all the Connection students and the program. So come on in. As you can see, everything's been renovated. All brand new, all new paint, brand new furniture, classroom, couch, cafe area. But everything is here has, is designed for a specific reason. And again, as we stated, we wanted to meet the needs of all students. So we wanted to design the classroom so that all students could learn the way they best feel uh, suits them the best. What we have over here is our online uh, courses and all of the, there's 10 computers that are on the perimeter of the classroom. Those 10 computers are specifically for online students. Now Mrs. Neely can monitor what they're doing on their, on their online courses, but those students all work independently and that's why they're placed on the perimeter. As you can see here, we have just an open area. Students are free to sit where they like. If they like to sit in groups or in pairs, they can do that. They can work with their partners and work in teams that they would like. So it's just sort of an open area where they can collaborate and work together. Over here we have a little bit higher, different posture uh, seating so that they can sit a little bit higher. And they plug in their, their laptops there on the, on the cord so they can sit, sit higher. Again, they can work independently, work in teams, work in groups if they would like. So what we have in this area is a classroom, a classroom within a classroom. As you can see, it's glass walls. And what happens here is sometimes the teachers need to supplement uh, their instruction, so they may bring in and they can do actual classroom teaching right here. So we're working on getting some things done, but we have a computer, so we have an overhead. We can close the door. Students come in the classroom, we close the door. And just like any other classroom, kind of like a business conference room, the teacher is able to deliver direct instruction. What we have here is a couch area. 
and as you can see if they want to have a, a collaborative setting and they want to work together or they just simply want some time away from each other they need to get away from uh, a group they can sit here at the couch at their leisure uh, they can sit like i said different postures these seats here move so we, we and part of the design is we want students to have different types of postures as opposed to a traditional classroom setting the last component of the classroom we're very excited about, and again, all brand new, is our cafe area. So a little bit different, the student gets frustrated, they need a break, and kind of at their own pace, they need to get away, they are free to come over here to the cafe area. We have a refrigerator for students if they need to put things in the refrigerator, microwave, they do drink coffee in the Connections program, so they have a coffee. And we have a snack machine and a Pepsi machine. Uh, still need some Pepsi in that machine, but that's what we're working on, so we can do that. There's limitations on how long they can actually hang out here in the cafe, and then it's back to work. So as you can see, students in this classroom have uh, more freedoms, yet they still have strict expectations that they get their work completed, which is monitored consistently. consistently. As far as teachers that are in the program, we have three classroom teachers that come to them. Students in this program remain in this classroom in the morning. They move on to internships or C9 program in the afternoon. And the teachers come down. We have specific content teachers, uh, Mr. Goro in social studies, Mrs. Smithing in English, and Mrs. Kreimer in our math department. So uh, again, we have, I guess the last piece, we have a kitchen over here. So they need to wash things up. They are responsible to wash their things up and so forth. So as you can see, uh, you know, this is very beautiful in here. We're very proud of this classroom. We'll maintain that and it's a program that uh, we feel will be sustainable and continue to even improve as we move forward. Thank you.